Hello and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service here in Central Washington. My name's Todd. And here I'm going to go over a circuit that I built to test a component that is being used in some of the Korean amplifiers. So for anyone that does repairs on these uh, newer Korean boards, you're going to find that there's a gate drive transistor. Uh, in the TO220 style package that's got five legs on it, five pins, which is called the MIC. If I can get it to zoom in right for you guys here, the MIC 4452ZT gate drive IC. Now these gate drive ICs are absolutely hard to get, expensive, uh, through normal means and sources. I have been quoted several times now that either people don't have them in stock or they're like 30, I think my last quote was 35 or $37 each or some number. Not quite as bad as the SI8244 ICs, but these uh, MIC4452ZTs are getting right up there. They're really a simple gate drive IC. It's uh, power, ground, input signal, output signal. It's only got one input and it's got one output. And on these uh, cream boards, you'll see that they're using like a uh, IRS 2184 IC uh, going to a pair of these MIC 4452ZT transistors. Well, gate drive IC. They keep calling them transistors because they are in the TO220 style package. Uh, and they're just a buffer between the Class D audio IC and the output transistors so as some of you may know when you buy uh, transistors i see anything off the internet from overseas even from your trusted sources there's always a potential to get fake or bad components it's just a huge problem in today's world now these mic's that i got all have the same date code they say mic 4452 zt 2016. so when i got them in i'm like well that's odd they have literally the date stamped on it 2016. and not a date code so i questioned where you know the origin of these probably from China, I'm, I'm not sure, but the other batch of MIC 4452s that I have don't have that kind of date code. Uh, these actually have a code ODQ8P on this particular one here. So I was like, ah, uh, you know, what better thing to do to validate its functionality than to build a circuit to test them. So I've got one of these MIC 4452s in the breadboard here, all crammed right in there. Kind of hard to install one because it's, it is a five pin TO220 package there. but it's in there and i'm using my hip 4080 test board here which if you think about it 
is an excellent way to test drive circuits because this is acting just like uh not just like this is a a class d audio ic uh, used in older amplifiers you don't see these hips much around anymore that's why it's so hard to find these ic's which is why i have this test board i'm always looking for these hard to get components but this is a perfect setup here to drive this mic so i got a five volt supply going to the mic I've got a 12 volt supply that's running the HIP 4080, and I'm using the signal, the output signal of the HIP 4080 through these transistors going into the input pin of that MIC 4452. And you guys can see uh, on the upper left hand corner of that screen there that there's a scope image for you. So I am going to turn on the power to the HIP 4080. And you'll start to see some pulses that are being generated off the HIP because it's active right now and my channel 2 is hooked up to the output. Now the channel one the yellow trace on the scope there is the output of that mic 4452 so if i turn the power on to the 4452 you can see i have a perfect square wave i mean not perfect in the sense that there's no filtering on this no capacitors there's nothing to clean up this signal this is a straight driven signal off the hip 4080 through the transistors. The transistor is being fed by five volts coming off my supply board here. So the, I should see the uh, the five volts coming back out through the switching minus, of course, the, the uh, voltage drop of the junctions. So let's see, let's go. So there, there's the uh, division set at 5 volts on the scope. Just to show you that the 5 volts that I'm feeding the HIP4080 circuit is the same amplitude as the uh, MIC4452. So the uh, MIC4452 is switching exactly the way it should. I turn the voltage off going to the HIP 4080. There's no drive signal. Everything is up at five volts because again, the uh, HI, the MIC is being fed with a separate five volt power supply. Turn the HIP back on, we got switching. So that tells me that the MIC 4452ZTs that I got in are completely functional. That does not include any load testing uh, of any sort. This just tells me that the transistor, uh, the IC itself, is functioning and switching the way it should. Um, based on this signal right here. And I got these at $7 each, I think is what I paid for those. Still fairly expensive. I did take the top off of one already to verify the die size, which the die size is correct. and there's no heat anywhere everything's cold usually on a bad or faulty or a not genuine part they will start to heat up just like these hip 4080s they'll start to heat up they may show switching but they're gonna they'll get hot 
Now this is the original Harris uh, HIP 40A that came with the board and there's no heat on it. And some others that I've tested will have switching, but they'll get much warmer than this. So, and then the MIC, there's no heat whatsoever to it. Of course, I don't expect much for five volts, but again, these are not driven at, for instance, full 180 volt rails. These are just driving the signals for the output, uh, output transistors. So that's just what I wanted to go over today real quick with you guys is that it is possible to devise a circuit that'll test components to validate the function. And that's very critical when you're doing repair work on amplifiers or any equipment is to know that you have good functioning parts. I don't know if they have been repinned. Some it looks like some may have been repinned. So they may have been in a different circuit and re they they may be I don't even say that they're used because there is no markings on the tabs whatsoever. None. So I will continue to do my tests on these. Uh, my next thing is just to do a little quick load test on it and uh, see how it performs under a load. And go to uh, using working units. So I do thank you guys for watching again. This is uh, just an overview of testing an MIC 4452ZT style gate drive IC. Thanks for watching. Yeah, as always, guys, keep your fingers safe. Keep them out of the rails of amplifiers. And we will catch you on the next one. Any questions or concerns or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.